when your parents have died. They? they say things to me like, uh, hey, they're always with you, you know. They're always with you. And I hear that and just think, oh, God, I hope not. Because <laughs> when I'm by myself, <laughs> I do some really disgusting things. Lovely to, be, lovely to be in West London. Can I say that? Lovely to be. We are West London people. Do we have any here? Yes. I am myself West London. Yes. I, I, I grew up in Ealing down the road. Yeah. There's, there's probably more than that, but they think it's vulgar to shout out. Um, I now live in Enfield. Yeah. See? Quite rough. Um, no, it's awkward. It is awkward. I'm, I'm quite posh. My kids are quite rough. It's quite awkward. I'm, I'm trying to show my daughter the correct knife to use in a restaurant the other day, and she just said, a blade's a blade. That's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> I, was, I was a weird kid myself. I was scared. I was scared of everything as a kid. I was scared of Santa. <laughs> my parents would tell me about Santa. I'd be going, right, sorry, let me get this straight, parents. You're going to let an old stranger into my room in the middle of the night <laughs> because he wants to give me a present. Are you serious? <laughs> I was, scared of, I was scared of the tooth fairy. You know, your tooth falls out, leave it under the pillow, tooth fairy comes along, takes it away, leaves you some cash. I would be freaking. I'd be going, I don't want to sell my body parts. <laughs> Who's coming next? The kidney pixie. <laughs> the knob goblin. <laughs> I'm mid-40s now. I'm mid-40s. I have no pension plan in place. I have no pension sorted at all. Having said that, I'm in show business. I may well spend my 70s in jail. <laughs> I'm not nice, folks. I'm not nice. People think I'm a nice person. I'm not nice. I'm pushy and shallow. We all are. We all are. Look at our pictures on Facebook. Our pictures are a complete lie. No one's photo is real, is it? Everyone's photo on Facebook is like this. Do you realise one day someone's going to be using that photo to say, that's your great-great-grandmother? <laughs> Why is it taken from such a funny angle, Mummy? Well, in those days, that was the way fat people tried to look thinner. <laughs> I've got friends that are constantly trying to share every bit of pain on Facebook. Do you, have the, do you have friends who put a post up sharing their pain? They won't tell you what's happened, though, will they? Today has been absolutely the worst day of my entire life. <laughs> their best friend comes in, they need to show they're their best friend, they'll go, I know, babe, you're an amazing person, I'll be over this evening. <laughs> Next level of friend has the guts to say, what happened, babe? They get the answer, I'll DM you. <laughs> the third level of people like me just watching, going, what the bloody hell? to share their pain. So, someone put a thing up that was really quite an innocuous post. All it said was, what would you say if you could talk to yourself at 18? And all my friends used this as an excuse to share how hard their life had been. All my friends were like, you're going to go through some hard times, but you're an amazing person, you'll find a way through and you'll be brave and strong and amazing and growing. I got in trouble with my wife because I wrote on it, it's going to be horrible, kill yourself. <laughs> One woman wrote a thing that was very simple, but very, very powerful. What would you say if you could talk to yourself at 18? She simply wrote, you are not ugly. And we, yeah, we totally know that story there, don't we? We know what she's been through. She's probably been bullied at school, been rejected by partners as she's grown up. She's probably been laughed at behind her back. And she's had to realise that other people's judgments aren't important. It doesn't matter what other people think. Their opinions don't matter. The only opinion that matters is yours. And she knows that she is beautiful. But I saw her pictures and Jesus. <laughs> and I realised that 
sometimes, sometimes on Facebook, on Twitter, whatever, you have to put something sad up there. When someone's died from the family or a friend has died, you need to put that on Facebook to share the information there as people that don't know, that's absolutely fine. But the constant memorials to old dead relatives are a little bit indulgent, folks. <laughs> a little bit indulgent. Six years ago, Gran, you left us, always in my thoughts. It's a little bit indulgent. And it gets competitive, doesn't it? People come in, I know, I totally understand. I've lost all my grandparents, actually. Totally understand what you're going through. <laughs> I've lost my grandparents and my parents, so I totally understand that you're... <laughs> my mum died nearly two years ago. On the anniversary of my mum's death, I'm not going to go on Facebook and go, Mum, you left us two years ago today. I know if you were still here, you'd be telling me to stop using your death to get attention on Facebook. <laughs> stupid things to you when your parents have died. They? they say things to me like, uh, hey, they're always with you, you know. They're always with you. And I hear that and just think, oh God, I hope not. Because <laughs> when I'm by myself, <laughs> I do some really disgusting things. <laughs> I can't bear the idea of my dead father appearing to me going, my son, I have returned. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll come back later. How very nice. That is. <laughs>